Oh, oh, why are what? we doing that? <gasps> oh my God. I'm so embarrassed. Wow, you are just. What? Dancing. <laughs> why did you do that? I don't know how you started that, but. Make her stop. I can't, I don't know why I make she her stop. She has to stop that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! Victor is into it. Victor stop. wants a piece. Victor is in the nude. He's, well, he's pool party. Oh, right. He's in a song. Okay, we have to leave Victor before he tries to get our number. Ooh, we got an email. Is she my dream girl or not? Dear Neve and Cammie, my name is Mark. I'm 30 years old and I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. I work as an independent contractor and I'm also a gamer, which is how I've gotten myself into a bit of a situation. For the past year, I've been on a game that is all about relationships and forming friendships. About two months ago, a player I had seen around for a while started chatting with me. Her name is Marie Taylor, I call her Taylor, and we completely hit it off. Think I might have found just what I'm looking for. We exchanged pics and she gave me her Snapchat and a couple of nights later, we had a snap call and talked most of the night. Our relationship grew way beyond the game, but things with Taylor were never easy. I keep trying to get us to a more committed place, but every time I tell her how I feel, she pulls back. I started to get worried that she might not be who she says she is, and another friend from the game told me they thought the same thing. Or we've never video chatted, we've never met, and when I asked her for more personal photos, she sent me the same ones she was sending to other people. Yes, it's worth it. Taylor and I are not in a great spot at the moment, but I'm hoping that we can get back to a place where we're dating again, even if she is a catfish. Think I might have found just what I'm looking for. Let's talk about Taylor. So why don't you take us back Mm -hmm. to when you guys first met. Explain what was happening, what game you were on. Paint the picture. So it's a PVP-based game, player versus player. It's called Party in My Dorm. Oh. It's a mobile game. There's different clubs that you can join and you can socialize. What are you trying to do? What is the function or purpose of the game? It's to upgrade your tune and your dorm, basically, and play against other players, and make friendships. This is like, college theme? It's like a college theme, yeah. Okay. So I would see her around all the time. We would just socialize and parties. And then on my birthday this year, I had an in-game birthday party, which was really fun. And I was hosting it. So I was mainly just trying to focus on what I was doing, not really socializing while everybody was talking in the party. I was having a little bit of anxiety. Like I feel like I messed up or something. She comes out of nowhere and she's like, no, you're doing good. You're doing great. She was like my own personal cheerleader that day. And later on that night, we ended up adding each other and we just talked the whole night. We stayed up all night till the sun rose. Just oh. it's really connected on a emotional level. But still all just just typing. But still all just typing. Got it. Do you know how old she is? 21. So now you're officially friends in the app. So how does the relationship progress? So in the game, you can be in a relationship with someone. And after a couple of days, we were in a relationship on the game. Oh, wow. Now presumably, your name and avatar in the game are not the same as your real name and what you look like in real life. Correct. But when did you first like actually see what she looked like? So we were talking in, in game and I had said that I looked like my avatar and she was like, I kind of look like mine. And I was like, oh, I'd like to see what you look like. And she was like, do you have Snapchat? So I added her on Snapchat and that's where she sent me some pictures and videos of herself. Oh. Does she say she has other social media other than Snapchat? Does she have Instagram or anything? Yeah, she has an Instagram, but we would talk through the game and Snapchat. And then a little later down the road, she ended up giving me her phone number. Got it. So about how long have you guys now been talking? Couple months. And you've asked to video chat? I have not asked to video chat. Oh, okay. You know, we would talk on the phone all the time, so I didn't really see like video chatting as something that was needed to be done. And what's right her away. voice like? Does she have an accent? Does she sound young? Does she sound... She sounds like she puts a lot of emphasis on making her voice sound a little more high pitched than normal. Oh, so you, so, like, you said she's 21, but maybe she could be older and like putting on a younger voice possibility. Do you think it's possible that it could be a guy speaking with a sort of girl voice? I don't think it's a guy. But you have suspicions that she's not the girl in the photos. I do have suspicions. Yeah, why? So when we had first started talking on Snapchat a couple days in, I was like, hey, can you send me a picture of you blowing me a kiss? 
And she was just like, that's too much effort. And then a couple of people that I know in the game think that she's a catfish. Did you guys ever mm -hmm. talk about being exclusive in real life? Yeah, so I told her that I had feelings for her and that if we kept talking the way that we did, I was gonna start falling hard for her. And I feel like it might've scared her a little bit or however she was feeling, she wasn't having it. What did she say? She didn't really say anything. She just broke the relationship in the game. When was that? That was like five days ago. Oh, what's been going on since then? Have you guys recovered from that? Yeah, a little bit. I was just like, look, I'm sorry I miss you. I mean, we talk. I still care about her a lot. I definitely have love for her. She invited us in. This is a stranger's oh. home. I'm not gonna... Hello? Hello? I don't like what I'm seeing. It's very nice. I don't care. <laughs> that is so weird. You want to go in there? Hello? Of I course don't know. you do. Of course you do. What the? F That's so weird. Hello? Marie? Hello? I'll be right now. Oh, okay. Sure. She just said she'll be right out. This is giving Dateline FBC. No. And the police are outside and they're going to come get us. This is. Good. Nice. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Neve. Hi, I'm Marie. Nice to meet nice you. This is Cammy. Hi, I'm in Marie. shock. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mark. And I'm Mark. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, I'm obviously Marie. So yeah. Are you the same Marie that he's been talking to yeah. the whole time? Yeah. So it's just always been you? Yeah. Wow. What is happening? You're you. I am, yeah. Everything that Mark knows then about you, true. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I haven't like lied to him about anything, like, no. Are you in a relationship? No, I'm single. Okay. Are you similarly feeling a connection to Mark the way I think he is for you over the last few months? I feel like like our whole relationship was just like a game. Like it was just like an in-game thing. Okay. So it never felt flirtatious I or mean, romantic? I like in the beginning like it did. Like we okay. like flirted like a little bit. But like I don't think it was like that big of a deal because it's like an online thing. Sure, so. but then you guys took it offline kind of and talked on the phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But is it surprising to you that Mark might have felt like this relationship was a bit more than just a friendship? I mean, no, like I definitely like get that vibe. Okay. But I just felt like we were all just like casual, like we were just like casual online buddies. So, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Hello. Hello. Scuba Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about this a little bit. Very curious about this, Renee. Take us back to like how you guys met. I was on IMVU. I was just combing through different group chats. Then I just joined in. And Renee and I kind of clicked. We were the same age at the time, 17. And then we continued it from there. But you didn't know so, what she looked like, right? Because you no. only saw her little digital avatar. Yeah. Did you guys only ever talk through IMVU? No. Eventually, you moved over to Kick. You could send photos on Kick, right? Right. So you have seen photos of her? Yes. I thought she was beautiful. And when you guys were talking, were you guys getting into like real deep stuff or? At the time, yes. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Basic teenager stuff. We were very much in a relationship. Do you ever talk on the phone? Oh, no. So you've never heard her voice? Nope. Like I tried to get her on Skype and it was very much excuses, but I kind of just shrugged it off because it was still a consistent communication. Mm. But for a while, she was your girlfriend. So how did it end? I ended up talking with her brother. The conversation was just fairly simple, brotherly, don't hurt my sister stuff. But then one day there was a supposedly an argument happening and her dad got on and started mocking me, mocking the idea of the relationship. It was very unsettling to me. How does her dad know how to use kick? After that night happened, she was gone. She stops responding to your messages. 
Wow. And in IMVU... Never online again. So that was it. You just stopped hearing from her. It's gone. But what was that like to feel like you had this girlfriend that you oh, were in love with? 100% sucked. It, it hurt a lot. I tried for a few months to try and see if I could get something. Facebook, Instagram, another account, but I couldn't find her. She just totally vanished. And then I lived my life and moved on. And then six years go by and you just get a random message. Yeah, just, or, hi, this is me, it's been a while, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I was excited, I mean, it was cool. I had not talked to this person in years. Had you thought about her? Yeah, I mean, she was the love of my life. Wow. So give us the update on Renee. So, okay, so now she's 23. What's her deal? All I know is that on her Facebook, it says that she's in Wolverhampton, United Kingdom, and that is it. It's a bare bones Facebook. I'm her only friend. That extremely brings up a red flag. Weird. What's her Facebook name? Is it just Renee or does and she have a last name? She says that it's Renee Savage. Oh no, no, Scuba. <laughs> no, that's not a good sign, honey. I'd like to see the profile. I can do that. All right, so here she is, okay. From Bushbury, Wolverhampton. You're her only friend. <laughs> Has one picture. Tattoo on her finger, nose ring. Is this the girl you remember? 100%, but she was a brunette. Oh, okay. I mean, she's cute, obviously. Oh, he said she just messaged her username. Ooh. Do you want to quickly look up that username? Yes. I am VU. Because you can't just Google her username. You have to be on right, IMVU right. in order to search her. Blow up your avatar in 3D. Whoa. We have to create a character. We have to make one. All right, should we be male or female? Make me, make me. All right, female. Female. Hair, what are you looking for? Oh, this is so fun, I'm definitely doing this later. Oh, do the wavy hair, cute. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. All You're right. just gonna make her a basic bitch? Yes. What? We're on a mission here, Cammy. Are we in? Could have at least given her a blouse. Maybe a skirt. Some nail polish. All right, so here is Renee as the profile name. Look at all the basic bitches that look exactly like us. All right, let's see. Oh my God. <gasps> there it oh, is. What? Antarctica. That's gotta be a joke. Wow. That's her. Oh, there's a phone wow. number. <gasps> That's definitely not a UK number. That's true. Let's search this Run number. the number. Ooh. No name associated with this number. Oh, look at this. It's a Virginia cell phone number. Not a text app? It's a Verizon phone number. So she's not in the UK because the phone number is a US number from Virginia. Oh. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Are you the person Scuba has been talking to? Yeah. You're clearly not the person that is on your Facebook. Okay, hold on a second. I just wanna take a second to kinda just let Renee introduce herself because I don't even think we know your real name. Can you just give us a quick overview of who you are, what your name is, where you live, just so we know who we're talking to? Oh, okay, well, my um, name is Kishana. I'm from Roanoke, Virginia, and I am Haitian American. Are you in a classroom? Are you Are in you're school at school right now? Yeah. Well, school session is out, but um, I am in the study room. Why lie? <laughs> um, so I've asked myself that a lot of times, but at the time where we were involved, I wasn't so comfortable in my skin and I wasn't really comfortable with myself. So it was easier for me to put on a different persona than to be myself. What aspect did you lie and what aspect did you tell the truth about to me? Okay, so the lies were um, the part about like my brother that you remember. Wait, did your brother actually text Steven? Like, did, yeah. no. no? No. So that was you? Yeah, it was me. Did I ever speak to your dad? No. No? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Why? Yeah, why? 
I felt like I couldn't keep up with anymore, so it was just so much easier to just drop it and act like it never happened. I'm sorry, that's just how I thought at the time. What about your URL on Facebook for Renee is like a Tiana Smith? Who is that? Honestly, when I was with my ex-boyfriend and I was suspected he was doing something, so I made it to message out to him at the time. Okay. I can understand why, as a teenager, you weren't ready to come clean, but why not reach out at this point now as yourself? When I initially texted you, I was like gonna be like, okay, I'm just gonna tell him, I'm gonna let him know. But like, the more that I talked to you, it was easier to be Renee with you than it would have been easier for me to be like Kishana with you. Cause even though we're the same, I just felt like you're connected with her and not with me, if that makes sense. Are you talking about a physical connection? Yeah, that was like, that was kind of like a part of me because I was like, oh my gosh, like, what if like how I look doesn't amount to like how she looks and he's completely devastated. Basically, I made it because at the time I was getting bullied for my color. I was like, oh, it would just be so much more easier like if I go on IV and like I'm white, nobody got to know, like, like I could have just been somebody else. I know black girl to black girl on the internet, it can be difficult to make friends as yourself, especially in these virtual worlds. You're on these apps and, and playing these games and you subconsciously make a white character because you feel like it might be more presentable or people will want to talk to you more. But in the beginning, when you guys met on IMVU, he didn't know what you looked like for six months. You could have looked like anybody. He could have been completely into you as you. Part of me just didn't want to like let him know because I was like, we've already come so far, like, like why just break that now? What were your feelings for him then? And what are your feelings for him now? I did love you. Indeed, I did. Reconnecting with you now, it made me miss how you treated me. I would like to get to know you again. I would love to like start something with Steven. And if you're willing and hoping to, I, I do see that in our future. Maybe there could be something there again. Okay, here we go. We got an email from Charles. He's making me do this. Hey, Neve. Hey, Cammy. My name is Charles, and I'm from a small town named Alton, located in the state of Illinois. I'm sending you an email because I'm trying to get my friend Zach to stop hounding me. He thinks my girl is a catfish. Ooh. Five months ago, I met this beautiful, outstanding woman on IMVU named Nikki. The way that you move, you got my attention. Oh, IMVU. That's the virtual reality. You make an avatar character. Yeah, I remember that. Say what you wanna say. I saw her in a room, and her start. avatar was hot AF. You could be you, I could be me. We could be something incredible. She said she liked my deep voice, and the two of us started flirting and vibing immediately. When I am next to you, I lose all track of time and space. Our relationship took off from there. We exchanged pics and started texting. Never felt a life like this, life like this. She's everything I want in a girl. She's sexy and funny, and she always knows just what to say to cheer me up on bad days. There are a couple things that are suspicious, which is what Zach keeps harping on about. The thing is, I still haven't seen her. I know that sounds fishy, but she's a shy girl. We have video chatted twice, but once her camera was off, and the second time the camera was pointed to the ceiling fan. <laughs> the other thing is that Zach thinks she's a guy. Her voice is just a little raspy, that's it. This woman is the sun of my day and the stars of my night. Suddenly everything blurry. Wow. I really do love Nikki with all of my heart, and I hope she is the same person when I get a chance to see her. Sincerely, Charles. So, Zach, you're kind of the reason we're here. Yeah. You obviously are aware of the fact that Charles has been talking to this girl. Oh, yeah. And concerned enough to encourage him to reach out to the show. Yeah. Charles, why don't you tell us kind of your version of the story, how you guys met. Well, back in January, I met her on RMVU. I went inside of a random room and I started speaking on the mic. She said, whose voice is that? And I was like, that's mine. 
And then we started talking back and forth. Okay, so at what point did you find out what she actually looked like? Did she send you pictures? About two weeks after we met on IMBU, I basically texted her pictures of myself, then she texted me pictures of herself. Got it. That's how I know her. Tell us a little bit about her. She's a dental assistant. She lives in Miami, Florida. She's 34. I'm older. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Good for you. Kids? No, not that I know of. No kids, okay. And are you guys talking about future plans together? Like, what's the goal? Me and her have talked about me moving down there with her. Do you consider your, her your girlfriend? Yeah. And she's said the same? Mm hmm She's there for me whenever I get upset. She puts me up whenever I'm down. She's just showing me something I've never been shown before. Except for her face on FaceTime. So where does that come in? I FaceTime her the first time, it was a mic. I asked her why. She said that she was busy at the moment she couldn't get on. The second time, it was a ceiling fan. And I asked her, show me your face, babe. But she said, no, I'm ugly. Plus, I got to get ready to go somewhere. But like, I can FaceTime while I go. Yeah, you just... can pick up and say, hey, I'm about to head out really quick. Yeah. I'll call you right back. Honestly, I, I just think she's shy. But every day we text each other, we call each other. She sounds like a woman, like. Well, she sounds like a woman to you, but Zach thinks otherwise. You think she definitely sounds like a guy? Yes. The voice is really raspy. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, she sounds like that? Oh, no. I would immediately know. <laughs> or like, hello. Yeah. So, Zach, what sort of other shady things have you noticed? So, we took a trip to Miami, me and my girlfriend did, and he came with us. Right, because that's where Nikki lives. Yeah. Right. He said, I'm meeting Nikki when we get there. So we left the hotel. He stayed out front waiting on her. We were gone for a few hours, and when we came back, he was still sitting there. She never came. Stood me up. I didn't hear from her until two days after, but she gave me an excuse of, like, family emergency. Even when you have a family emergency, you can text the person that you're set to meet up with and say, I'm having a family emergency. Feels like bull yeah. Her username is Nikki Lee. Oh, Nikki Lee. Female in oh, Florida. Cookie. He said Cookie was what? Her nickname. So she's got 2,300 followers, which I, oh, seems like a lot. Her age is hidden. Hidden Florida bio. Says she's single, here for relationships. Oh, the pool oh, club. The, oh, that's it. That's the one. Oh, oh wow. Now we can go to it. Join, join, join. Oh, my God. There's people in there. Oh, there's huh? someone. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we just us. sat in the We're pool. We're in the pool. Oh, cute. Oh, they said, hey. We say hi. Oh, my God. Hi. Anyone seen Cookie lately? Cookie lately? Or Nikki? Don't know who them is. I'm so embarrassed. Wow, you are just what? dancing. Why did you do that? I don't know how you started that, but. Make her stop. I can't, I don't know why I make she her stop. She has to stop that. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, ah! Victor is into it. Victor stop. wants a piece. Victor is in the nude. He's, well, he's pool party. Oh, right. He's in a song. Okay, we have to leave Victor before he tries to get our number. So this was a pool club. Like, what and what other club? Baby? Seven Ballers, there it Seven is. Seven Ballers. Oh! <gasps> Oh, it's a strip club. We have a message. We do? Up there. Here? No, up, up. Oh. The chat. What is that? Hey, oh. Who's Evan? Evan said you're looking for Cookie. Charles doesn't have her Insta. Let's see if this guy's got it. My IG got deleted. Do you know her at? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Evan said, I oh. might have it. Which version of Nikki are you talking to? She tells everyone something different. Oh. Evan knows that she's like, sketch and makes that. Oh, he's searching. Oh my God. How many profiles does she have? Come on, come on, we're so close. Come on. Oh! He says, Evan says, she a player. Just a heads up, she talks to so many guys, tells me one thing, then turns around and says the total opposite the next day. She likes games. Do you, did you find her Instagram? Oh, 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 he's got it. Yeah, it's Nikki underscore Lee X. Oh my God, oh my God. Instagram. Nikia. What is this picture? Someone else. Nikia Lee? Private. But is this a page for the real girl? Or is this just a Finsta page for IMVU people? Hello? 
Hey. Hi, how's it going? Good. Looking for Nikki. <sighs> oh, I don't want anything to do with this, brother. Is that him? Is that who we've been texting with? Someone else is inside. I'm creeped out. What? So, someone's in. Someone's in there. What? That's so bizarre. Hello? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm Neve. Hello. How are oh, you? Oh yeah, I was a little confused by whomever I met moments ago. Uh, that was my friend Anthony. Oh, okay. This is his house. I'm a little nervous. Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Can I take a minute? Okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Is that the voice? Is that her voice? Here. Come, come. Oh. Hi. Hi. Come on out. Okay. I'll introduce you to the gang here. Okay. <gasps> what? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Carly. Hi. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Hello. Hi. I'm Charles. Charles. I get a hug. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hello. So it's been you yeah. the whole time? The whole time. Mm -hmm. Well, then why haven't you video chatted then? Well, I get nervous. Like, I'm shy on video, and there's something I really haven't told Charles. Okay, so there's, there is something. Mm hmm. Uh huh. And that something is that I have two children. Oh, I have a seven year old and a two year old boys. Really? Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you tell me? Um, I have like trust issues. I don't, you know, you're over the internet. I don't really know who you are. And the right person has to be in my boy's life because, you know, they're number one. Is there anything else? I've never lived in Miami. Nothing else? No, nothing else. Everything else is me. <laughs> I don't care about the kids, right? Like, I, I don't care that you lied to me about it. I mean, it's a big, it is a big thing. omission, mm -hmm. but I kind of understand what you mean. You know, you, you didn't know him that well, yeah. right?